Yes, the Crunchyroll Anime Awards are back. The awards show that some take way too seriously, and some ignore completely. But let's be honest, any awards show based on fan votes is a popularity contest rather than the best of. It's just people's most favorite. Now that's okay because we can still have fun with it, and that's the point of this, it engages the fans and it's it's just a good time. And if you don't want to follow along, that's cool, but if you would like to follow along and put your own votes in, you can head over to Crunchyroll if you have an account and cast your vote in. Starting things off, we have Anime of the Year. Good options here. Chainsaw Man. A lot of people were upset that it wasn't there last year, but that's because it's, I, th I think it's like October of the previous year to October of the latest year or September of the latest year that counts. So stuff from late fall of 2022 will be included in the 2024 Crush Girl Anime Awards so that they can avoid recency bias as well as let shows finish. So yeah, Oshinoko, Chainsaw Man, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Bochi the Rock, Demon Slayer, uh, <laughs> and Vinland Saga Season 2. I would love to see Oshinoko or even Chainsaw Man or Bochi the Rock win, uh, but I'm going to have to cast my vote in for Vinland Saga Season 2. It's, it's a diff it's a different level, okay, of, of storytelling. Best continuing series. It's probably Vinland Saga Season 2, but I just said that that was the best like anime of the year. So I feel like it, they should probably give it to something else. So I'd say either One Piece or Attack on Titan. So I'm going to put my vote in for Attack on Titan. And yeah, this is only the final chapter special one. And I get it. The final chapter special two oh, uh, was in November of last year. Time is weird. But it's only one episode. They should just include it as it. But it's, it's fine. It's fine. Best new series as well. Here are the nominations. So far, so good. You know, we got some great stuff. We're gonna give that one to Oshinoko. When I saw Best Film, I was looking at it, I'm like, okay, some good options. Uh, Blue Giant, I loved that movie. Psycho Pass Providence, not bad, not bad. First Slam Dunk, that's a Slam Dunk. <laughs> uh, Suzume, that's great. I was really surprised to see Kaguya-sama there, but I'm not mad about it. I'm happy I love that movie. And then the new Black Clover movie. It's not bad. Where, Where's the point of the heron? In my opinion, that's easily the best anime movie of the year, but it's just, it's not here. What? Oh, yeah, it came out in December in the West. But uh, runner-up, easily Suzume. Uh, in the scene of original anime lately, it's been kind of lacking. Kind of lacking. Although it may not be super, super original. It was the most fun I had out of these ones. Best animation. Okay, I'm going to be honest here. All of these are great. Here's the thing about Chainsaw Man. Is we have an incredible mixture of 2D and CG anime to create a completely different style from what we're used to. And that's why I'm giving it to Chainsaw Man. It's, in my opinion, it's, it's the ingenuity and the creativity, uh, the creating a new style that really brings it up. While Demon Slayer is beautiful, like don't get me wrong, it's just it's still just more or less the same stuff, which is not a bad thing at all. It's just I think Chainsaw Man stands out in that it's doing something completely different, and I also think it looks great. Character design, again, we have really good stuff here. The the people in this, it's the the eyes. Demon Slayer character design. It's pretty good, especially the demons. The demons are the best part of it. Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, everything I'll say about Demon Slayer's character design is the exact same as Jujutsu Kaisen, I'd say. Not that they look the same, I would just say the same things about it. I'm like, oh yeah, the normal people, they got the cool outfits, you know what I'm saying? Uh, their hair is different and, you know, makes it unique. They have a very specific art style. And then there's some wacky looking monsters and those are what makes it shine. Chainsaw Man, again, the same thing, honestly, with those, as those ones. It's just the weird, disturbing looking monster. Same with Hell's Paradise, honestly. Uh, but I'm gonna give this one to Trigon Stampede. It's so cool. And that's, that's the reason why I'm giving this, is everybody looks just, just so cool. So dope. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's epic, honestly. Okay, best director. Not many anime fans really pay attention. I pay attention sometimes. Again, I will say that I'm not the highest educated in anime directors, I guess. Uh, in, on the TV side. On the movie side, I'm like all over that, right? But on the TV side, it's very much like, I'll know a couple names. But I'm gonna give this one to Attack on Titan. Again, I've said um, I don't pay attention as much as I do on the movie side for the TV side, but they're one that I know. And here's the thing about Attack on Titan, is you don't get some of the best vocal performances in anime history out of a lousy director. Best cinematography. Chainsaw Man is my pick though. Based on how the camera is it a camera? 
based on how the footage, the camera, you know, how it moves throughout each scene is so captivating. And the positioning of the framing, the composition, it's, it's beautiful. Like, Chainsaw Man is a beautiful looking show. Best art direction. Here's the thing, cinematography is what you see on camera, what the composition is, how everything is laid out on screen. And the art direction is the style of that stuff laid out on screen, right? The colors, the aesthetic and all that. Basically, cinematography is how the camera picks up the art direction. So art direction, I'm gonna go with, oh, this one's actually really difficult, but I am gonna give it to Oshinoko. The visual style of it is so, satisfying to look at and it's captivating best romance okay i'm gonna spend a little less time here because i didn't watch all of these i will be completely real with you out of what i know from all of them and the ones i've seen um i do think that harimia is the one that i'm gonna go with um yeah i don't really feel too strongly about this okay best comedy this was a lot better here are all of the beautiful beautiful nominations However, there's absolutely no competition, and I'm gonna go pick Bochy the Rock because it's just the funniest show I've ever watched. So obviously I'm gonna have to pick it. Best action. Okay, some legitimately good stuff here. Final chapter, special one, incredible, Attack on Titan. Chainsaw Man, great, Jesus Kaisen, great, Demon Slayer, Bleach. That's all good. That's all good. However, there's absolutely no competition for me in picking one piece for best action. The fights in this year of Wano just incredible all the impact frames are using again impact frames i'm just saying they're they're delicious they're beautiful we love impact frames that's just it they're just it's they're the best they'll make any cool fight scene 100 times cooler if you put like a bunch of impact frames best fantasy if demon slayer okay you know what if if demon slayer wins again this year uh, it's okay the rest of the fantasy uh, is pretty good. Got some good stuff. But I will actually pick Hell's Paradise. Best drama. Okay, we got some good stuff here. Oshinoko, Heavenly Delusion, To Your Eternity, Attack on Titan, obviously, My Happy Marriage. Okay. Uh, and Vinland Saga Season 2. It's either Heavenly Delusion or Vinland Saga for me. Okay, Vinland Saga, best drama. Let's get through that. Best slice of life. Okay, some not bad options here meaning this first option is the not bad one because it's amazing. Uh, Butch the Rock, again, like, it's just, it's so good. It's so good. What do you want me to say? Best main character. What do we mean when we say best main character? Like, the best written, maybe? Because I'd say Aaron Yeager is written incredibly, but not in, like, a positive light. Okay, it's time to be real here. It's time to get real. With all of my heart, I want Luffy to win because I love Luffy, and Luffy's probably my favorite... I don't... He's one of my favorite characters of all time. He's he's so great. He's so fun. He's just a guy that you just want to be friends with. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to have to pick Thorfinn because, again, like just Vinland Saga's writing is just, it's it's on point. It's amazing. Best supporting character. I would want to pick Hanji from Attack on Titan, but she was in like, I don't know, maybe like 20 minutes of that episode. I get, she was great in it, though. She was great in that episode. But, but still, I don't know. But I'm going to pick Arima from Oshinoko. Uh, this show, I'm just gonna say, it's it's not just popular hype with the show. The writing is so good in terms of writing human characters, and, be, and they feel like they could exist because this stuff has happened all the time. It's surreal. It, it sometimes it feels like too close to reality, but then they still have that anime aspect to like bring it back a little, uh, which is which is good because. I mean, some of those episodes are rough, like in terms of content. Okay, must protect at all cost character. I like that Bochi <laughs> was nominated. Like last year, Comey was nominated, which made a lot of people uh, make the, the memes of Comey doesn't need protection, she needs a therapist. Now I'm gonna say the same thing for Bochi. Uh, it's great. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna give this one to Pochita just because he's so cute. Uh, he's my little boy. Look at him. Look at him. He's beautiful. Best anime song. Okay, these are some good awards. I like these ones. And no, by best anime song, we don't mean which song trended the most on TikTok, okay guys? So Idol is actually a fantastic song. I'm not gonna diss Idol. Are you kidding me? That song's amazing. And it's honestly difficult for me because how good these songs are. But I'm gonna give it to Kickback. Uh, that's just a musical masterpiece. Best score. Okay. Now, 
again some, some just really good ones okay same with demon slayer i'm not gonna clown on the animation and i'm not gonna clown on the score the score is actually pretty sweet and for me it's between attack on titan and chainsaw man oh, they're both so good but that moment during the rumbling is one of the greatest musical moments in anime history so i'm gonna give it to attack on titan best opening sequence let me remind you this is an opening song it's opening sequence what we're talking about here is the animation of the opening the opportunity for storytelling the symbolism and the integration of the music into the visuals so that being said i am going to pick innocent arrogance from heavenly delusion this well, the song is great but just the visuals the animation it's 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 beautiful and again it's the storytelling in the opening sequence it, it, in the shot of of her running after her lines like the line work around her is like separated and she's chasing it and it's a bit off and then they meet up at the end and it's just it's cool is is good stuff best ending sequence same thing here but for the ending um i have a question why on earth is demon slayer here the song's nice but like i don't know it nothing really happens especially here's what i did I went on YouTube, I made a playlist of all the openings, all the endings nominated, and I watched them all back to back, and wow, Demon Slayer was weird amongst these endings. Even Jujutsu Kaisen, that ending is great, that absolutely deserves to be on here. The framing with the white bars on the top and everything, while the running and different, all the different sequences, the different characters, it's it's really well put together. Happiness of the Dead, Zone 100, that's great. I mean, that's just great. The, the colors and everything, the vintage feel is beautiful. Speaking of colors, color from Spy Family. I love just the the camera moving around the house of them doing different things. Uh, that that was pretty cool. Chainsaw Man ending. I think that was ending three. That ending is amazing. What we're talking about here is also storytelling abilities. And I'm gonna go with Oshinoko, Mephisto. This song is great. Like the visuals are so profound. It's it's beautiful. Like this is a really good show. Not just because it was popular. We're on the voice acting awards, and I do only watch Japanese for the most part. Not that I'm like against dubs but i have a preference so why would i watch the dub if my preference isn't the dub uh voice acting performance i'm so happy that mayumi tanaka's here oh my goodness she does an amazing job but yuki kaji i think is one of the best voice actors i'm not even going to say in the anime industry in the film industry in the entertainment industry he's one of the best voice actors like i've ever heard ever out of anything english again i don't watch dub but here are the nominations there you go and there you go those are the nominations i think the crunchyroll anime awards will be on march 2nd so i'll also have a video up about that as well in the end of the day it doesn't really matter what wins because this is just an award show our favorites are our favorites so let me know what anime was your favorite anime of the year could be movie could be show whatever or let me know what your votes would be for any number of these or if there's any anime that you think got snubbed this year because there's always a fair bit of that at every award show but uh yeah that's it for today thanks for listening i've been shin glassman along with a call to subscribe and as always i'll see you in the next one